okay now let's go back to our diagram so we understood now what is a permission permission is a action can be done on the resource there are two types of permission control plane permission and a data plane permission a role definition is the collection of all these permissions and now let's go to the role assignment what is common between the role assignment and role definition which is role definition name and role definition id so in the role assignment will be referring the role definition name or the role definition id to apply that particular role to a particular principle which is user group managed identity workload identity or service principle so let's go through how can we assign a particular role to a user for that the query is az role assignment create then we give the assign and then we give the role in the assign will give either a username a uh, or a group id or a managed identity or a workload identity or a service principle okay in role i'll be specifying which particular role i need to give and the scope the scope is can be a management group a subscription a resource group or a particular resource so what i exactly i need to give i need to give ids of these particular entities okay subscription then a subscription will always be having a id along with it so this is my id so how would we i specify a subscription if i want to give access to a particular subscription i'll be giving slash subscription slash the particular id that we have okay to assign this particular role to a particular user i need to first create that user that is user1 at the rate casacloud.com so first let's see that how many users do we have currently is it ad user list okay let's have it in table structure is it ad user list minus o table right now i have three users here let me create another user right now so the command is az ad user create i'll be giving the display name user1 user principal name that is the email is user1 at the red casacloud.com a password which is a random password for now you can see it i'll be deleting the user so it is just for this particular demo and then the mail dot nickname okay so this particular command will create the user so now if i go and again see the list of users i'll be seeing the user one okay but right now this particular user do not have any access how should i know it let's go through a new incognito mode let me choose the user one i need to give the password for the password i'll give the same password like this sign in ask later home but i don't have any of the subscription let me see subscription do i have any subscription no i do not have any subscription that means i cannot see any resource or this user cannot see any resource right now unless and until we provide some kind of rbac access on the subscription level to this particular user okay so we can log into this user from this particular uh, command line as well so right now whom uh, what particular account i'm using is is it account show i'm right now logged in as alokadhav at the red casacloud.com i'll do is it logout and i'll paste this particular command which is is it login username is this password is this and allow no subscription okay this tells that even if a user do not have any subscription still allow me to log in okay so this is how how a user will be logged in using the password but what he can do right now 
he cannot do anything but uh, is it account show is logged in in here okay so what i need to do is i need to first assign a role to this particular user which particular role i am giving i am giving for random i am giving as a kubernetes service cluster admin role do i have a kubernetes cluster right now no i do not have but what will happen because i am giving the access on the subscription level he'll start having access or he'll be start seeing the subscription because everything and everything which is on in this particular subscription he'll be able to see so let's see how if i am able to give the role assignment whom am i logged in with i'm logged in with user1 should i be able to do this command right now no because he doesn't have that particular authorization so what i need to do i should do is it log out clear is it login and now i'll again log in using the casa cloud account selecting the first subscription okay so is it account show whom am i logged in with user.casacloud and this particular user is having user administration access let me show you like which particular access this uh, user has let's go to the category general and you can see user access administrator this particular rbac role is set to the user alokadhav at the rate casacloud.com and that's why this particular permission of assigning a role is allowed for this user how do i know how would i believe if we go to the details if we see the json it is having access to all the microsoft dot authorization slash star star means he can do anything and everything related to the authorization and support and there is no exception for it that's why if i just click this particular i'm able to give access to that particular user okay let's get back to user1 at the redcasacloud.com and i'm refreshing let me stop this now should i have the subscription i go to subscription no match found let me refresh this now you see i have the subscription that i have already offered okay so this is how you can give the access using the az role assignment create command if you want to do same stuff through the portal then it is more simpler but not practical for devops that is you can go to the subscription you can go to iam you here the role assignments let's go to the roles a particular role related to kubernetes let's go for the category container a particular i'm just selecting a random one okay assignments add assignment which particular role i need to give is containers kubernetes r back admin next select a member i am particularly talking about user group or service principal here if you want to give it to a managed identity you can select the management identity select the user here you can select the user 1 user 1 selected select next and assign and review the scope is subscription scope because we started this particular iam through the subscription label now if i just say review and assign it will give the same permission or format is same that we have done using this particular role is it role assignment create okay so now let's delete the user that we have created we'll do this by az ad user delete and the id of the user that will destroy this particular user now if i do az ad user list minus o table 
then I should not see that particular user. Okay. So I guess we have covered all the aspects of Azure RPAC. I believe you understood this particular diagram now, which includes everything related to permission, role definition and role assignment. Okay. Very simple. We should find for right permission with respect to the resource that we are talking about then select those permissions and create a role if you want to create a custom role you can create one or see the right role from the role definition list and then assign the role to a particular principle may it be a user group or the identity okay on a particular scope okay that's all for today's video i'll see you in the next video thank you so much